Hi students, our new topic is the Nile River. First of all, I want to give uh, information about the Nile River. Uh, I want to introduce you contents of the Nile River. First of all, what's the Nile River? The second one, uh, source of the Nile River, uh, tributaries of the Nile River, and delta of the Nile River. Uh, then about uh, fauna and flora of the Nile River, and uh, flooding uh, accident in ancient Egypt, and uh, then maybe. Uh, fauna and uh, flora uh, in the Nile River, then interesting uh, facts about the Nile River. First of all, I want uh, to show you uh, where the Nile River is situated. Uh, the longest river in the world, and it is uh, situated uh, northeastern part of uh, Africa and it's called uh, North Flowing uh, River and uh, I want to give you an information, information the length. Uh, length is uh, 606 uh, 6650 kilometers and uh, what's the origin of this uh, river? Uh, this uh, origin is a uh, Greek word, uh, which means Nailos, and uh, river valley. It's called also river valley. Uh, then about uh, source of the Nile River, uh, ancient uh, Egypt uh, believes that uh, the river had its source and in two great mountains with, it, uh, with eternal springs. Then uh, the original source is uh, known as uh, Victorian, Victorian Lake, and it's the show of Victoria, uh, which uh, the Nile starts in the region uh, of Jinja. Then uh, I want to show you uh, some countries which Nile flowing. Uh, from these countries, uh, they are nine countries. First of all, Egypt, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, Kenya, uh, Ethiopia, uh, Sudan, and Democ uh, Democratic Republic Congo. Uh, and <coughs> then, tributaries of the Nile River. Uh, I want to show you tributaries of the Nile. First of all, uh, Blue Nile. The second one is uh, White Nile. They joined together at the territory of uh, Khartoum in uh, the territory of uh, Sudan. Then the Nile uh, Delta. Uh, Delta is uh, situ situated in the Mediterranean. Mediterranean Sea and it covers 240 kilometers and it's uh, rich agriculture rich agricultural region uh, for uh, these countries. And then uh, I want to give you an information about uh, flooding of the Nile. What it is, uh, ancient Egypt uh, uh, said, said that each year uh, Nile River uh, overflows and uh, it's, uh, they thought that it was a very bad accident for them. Uh, then flood the surrounding area. Uh, but now this sounds bad, but uh, the most important events in the uh, life of ancient Egypt because uh, flood brought uh, brought rich black soil and renewed the uh, renewed the uh, farmlands. Uh, I think that it's uh, good for them. Uh, then uh, dams and reservoirs on the Nile River. First of all, I want to say that the first dam at uh, Ashwan. Uh, at Ashwan territory was constructed uh, 1899 and 1902. But then it has four locks and it's very uh, useful for the navigation. Uh, the dam has twice been enlarged, enlarged uh, in different uh, years uh, because uh, the 
raising water level and increasing dams capacity. It is also equipped with electro, uh, hydroelectric plant uh, with the installed power of more than uh, 345 megawatts. And then uh, I want to give you an information about uh, fauna and flora in the Nile. Uh, this story, uh, territory is very available for these countries and also uh, different and fascinating uh, pl uh, plants and animals leave the territory of the Nile River. First of all, uh, I want uh, to give you an information about bamboo, banana plant, uh, monitor lizard and Nile crocodile. Also some rare animals leave this territory and uh, these uh, plants also called fascinating plants and very, uh, very rare plants in the world. Uh, then uh, I want uh, to give you uh, interesting fact facts about the Nile River. First of all, uh, some uh, people think that uh, the Nile River is belongs to Egypt, uh, Egypt uh, country, but only 22% of this Nile River flowing uh, through the Egypt. Then, the second fact is about uh, flooding of the Nile River because uh, it's accurate date, accurate date, and uh, Egyptians use this uh, to uh, create their incredible uh, accurate calendar. Uh, then uh, the third one is uh, interesting fact it about the color of the sediment uh, was uh, black. Uh, that's why uh, after the annual flowering, uh, this soil uh, was uh, black. And first of all, uh, I want to say that ancient Egyptians uh, called the river R O U. This meaning is black. Then um, uh, I want uh, to give you an information about uh, our new topic. Uh, grammar uh, topic was uh, grammar topic is uh, <coughs> continuous forms of the tense. First of all, uh, what is continuous? Sometimes uh, uh, we called the progressive or durative progressive or durative. And I want to show you uh, uh, which tense form is continuous, present continuous, past continuous, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future continuous, and future perfect uh, continuous form. And they are also uh, passive forms, present continuous passive, and then past continuous passive, uh, present perfect continuous passive and also past perfect continuous passive then future perfect continuous passive is future perfect continuous uh, passive form uh, we uh, use this uh, these tense forms when uh, an action is take place at a certain moment in a time. We put some uh, emphasizes and it's uh, rather than if it's completed action. Then uh, I want to, uh, to give <coughs> information first of all present continuous and how we make this continuous form first of all uh, the form of the to be am is a plus ing uh, first person i am he she it is and then uh, the rest ones are uh, and also I want to show you uh, some examples for you. The boys are playing football after school. Uh, uh, then they are learning Spanish now. Uh, then I, I can say that I am reading a, a book now. Then I can say that she is uh, writing uh, she is writing a letter now. Uh, then uh, we can say we are playing football in the garden uh, at the moment and we also use uh, some uh, adverbs for these tense forms uh, for example now at the moment then at present still it's a durative and, and temporary action and then the second one is pre uh, past 
continuous. Uh, the structure is was, were, plus ing. Uh, first person was, I was. Uh, he, she, it was. Then the rest ones were plus ing. I want to uh, show you some examples. They were drinking coffee when I arrived. Uh, when I arrived, they were drinking and also uh, we can change and also transfer this <coughs> sentence. Then second one, I was watching football match on TV when he called. Uh, then we can change this one. When he called, I was watching uh, football team. Then uh, I can uh, say some examples, uh, another examples. For example, uh, they were playing uh, chess when I came. Uh, then the second one, I can say, uh, my mother was cooking dinner when I uh, rank her. Uh, it's durative progressive action. And also uh, I can say that when I uh, rank my mom, my mother was cooking. It's durable temporary action. And also uh, these uh, tense forms are also called progressive action. Uh, then uh, if I can say that uh, while uh, also used for these tense forms, uh, this is uh, main uh, word while I was studying at university I met her the second one I want to, to, to give some uh, uh, other uh, sentence while I was writing my mother uh, was uh, ironing or my uh, sister was cooking something past continuous is um, used to talk about an action uh, at one moment in the past or the, uh, the general situation then uh, when i woke up and i also uh, show you some example and show uh, where it had uh, it happened and when I woke up yesterday, I looked out of the window and saw the sun was shining, the dogs were playing, uh, they were eating something. It's durable action. We don't know when the sun starts shining and we don't know when the people uh, go went there and sit uh, on the bench. And we don't know at the moment I looked out of uh, the window. Uh, that was the also situation. Then the second one. Uh, what were you doing yesterday at half past, for example, six? I was walking. Uh, I was walking home from work. Uh, was the it's durable action and also ing form. Also ing form for incomplete intentions. Then. Future continuous form, the third one, future continuous form, the structure is uh, will be, shall be, plus ing. Uh, but students, I want uh, to say that uh, in modern English, we cannot uh, use uh, shall be. Uh, all the persons we can use will be. Uh, I will be, you will be, he, she, it, uh, we, you, they will be. But uh, in uh, some books, uh, they show shall be for the first person. I shall be and then we shall be. Then also uh, this in, in indicate durative action ing for all persons will be shall be then uh, i want to show you future continuous tense forms as uh, the baby will be sleeping in the afternoon uh, for example i will be helping you tomorrow uh, then it will be drinking milk uh, tomorrow uh, then uh, i shall be writing uh, writing a, a book uh, at the moment uh, tomorrow then uh, another example she will be uh, traveling around the world uh, for this time next year uh, then uh, i want to give uh, some examples students for you uh, i think that it's not uh, 
it's not difficult for you a present progressive form uh, we know that i also noted that uh, present progressive form uh, i uh, the form of the to be am and uh, our verb is read and also we add i n g i am reading a book the second one it it uh, the third person and also we we also i n g uh, it is raining uh, the cat cat third person is also we also add is and then ing sleep not sleep sleeping on the chair then uh, the second exercise uh, is uh, past progressive form uh, decide whether to use was or the i can say that uh, and i also note it uh, first person I was, uh, he, she, it was, and uh, another person, uh, others one, uh, uh, first of all, Boris, uh, Boris, third person, we can use was plus ing, Boris was learns, learning English, then uh, for example, uh, your father, your father, it's based on father is third person uh, third person and also singular form singular form we can use was was plus ing past progressive form of the tense then uh, last one and and maroon we show that an and maroon they are plural form and also we use plural form of the persons the an and maroon was singing a song uh, students i think that it's enough for you and uh, see you later thank you for your attention